and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week's recipe, we are looking at a grilling classic. We're looking at hamburgers. Now, what you see here is a completed hamburger with cheese and bacon and all the toppings and everything, but we're going to take you right through making the patties and everything. So, we're going to get started uh, right from the beginning with our ground beef and a few other ingredients. So, let's get started. Obviously, ground beef, uh, you can keep that to whatever fattiness you like. We're going to have some mustard powder, some onion powder, an egg, and some garlic powder. And we're also going to make a panade again, like we did with the meatballs. So we've got breadcrumbs and a little bit of heavy cream. Now, you can make the panade with other things. Here we have it with heavy cream, of course. But you can also make it with... Uh, water, or even beef stock, something like that. And we're just going to make sure that those are well combined. And that's really going to keep some moisture in your uh, patty once everything's mixed together and is cooked. So then we're going to move on. We've got our salt. Definitely want a little bit of seasoning inside the patty. A little bit of black pepper. And then we're going to add all of our other seasonings in here as well. We're going to make sure that's mixed together. And in goes the beef. And the egg. Now the egg, of course, is going to also work to hold everything together so that you don't have to overwork the meat in order to form your patties. And really, this is easiest with your hands. So there we have it. We're not, we don't want to overwork this. Uh, we want to make sure that it's still got a nice firm texture, but not tough, which is what happens if you just work it too much with your hands. And once it looks pretty uniform, uh, that's the time we're going to start dividing it up. Now, if you have one of those burger patty press makers, that you can use that here, but we're just going to show you a little method for forming patties on your own here. What Chef Caleb likes to do here is he's just going to divide it up with his hands. And uh, we actually managed to um, divide it up five ways here. So two larger chunks and then one smaller chunk. And don't be afraid to take some pieces from the bigger ones to feed the smaller ones if they're not quite the same size. So if you have one that's obviously bigger, feel free to just pull a little bit off that one and stick it to one that's smaller. And then you're just going to give those a little flatten. So, again, you want to give it a little press. They don't have to be perfectly round. But you do want to make sure that they are thin enough that they'll cook all the way through quite easily. Thick enough that they'll still have a little bit of bite to them once they're finished. And that's really all you have to do. You don't need to do anything fancy to them. Um, you don't need to, they don't need to be perfectly round. They don't need to have sharp edges or anything like that. Um, at this point, if you still see one is bigger than the others, you can still do a little bit of moving around. No, just like that. If you have anything sticking out of the edges, you certainly want to smooth that in. But other than that, that's pretty much our, our patties. So we're just going to give that a little sprinkling of salt. And the side that we're currently seasoning with uh, salt and a little bit of black pepper, that's the side that's going to go down on the grill first. So you want to make sure that your fire is getting good and hot while you're doing this portion. If you have a gas grill, of course, you can turn it on as you like. You're going to carefully move them on to the hot grill. And again, pretty easy with your hands. You can use a spatula for this as well, as long as it's heat resistant and not going to stick to your grill. And we're going to turn them once at least. Give it a nice sear on one side. And you do want to make sure that you're cooking your meat 
to at least medium well. Um, well, to medium, at least. Usually medium well, unless you know exactly where your beef is coming from. Because uh, undercooked burgers can definitely be a health risk. Now that our patties are done, we're going to do a little bit of a montage of all of our other toppings. together after that and we have a little cameo from our former video on potato salad and that's it that's our burger super easy the patty is really the heart and soul of your burger so if you have a great patty it lets all the other toppings that you're using on it just shine the simpler the better uh, of course you can customize those flavors however you like but if you like this recipe please do like and subscribe, and if you have any other suggestions that you'd like to see us try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food. Mm -hmm.